Hello and welcome to the Game Bolt's first impressions video of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta on PlayStation 4 developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. John, why did you make me say that? That's absolutely that ridiculous. That was the coolest intro to anything ever. I am your host, Grant, <laughs> and that and the other person here with me today is John. Are you ready to talk about Call of Duty? I am ready to talk about Call of Duty. Alright, so yesterday, the... well, I, maybe it was the day before. I know, like, uh, special people got it on... Wednesday. No. Yeah, I, uh, they were... Tuesday. In a, yeah, I was in a, I'm in a podcast beyond group, and there's a lot of people playing, like, uh, they, they were trying to shoot out codes to everyone, and, like, people were already playing it, like, the day, uh, so I think it was Tuesday, that they were already on it, and I was like, I don't even have a code yet, let me play. <laughs> How are you but playing so you it already? got a free code? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I just messaged, because everyone was just, here's a code, take it, here's a code, take it, and I was like, I can't snag these fast enough, so I just posted, like, I'm slow, someone please help me. Well, I mean, people would pre-order on on Amazon, and then just cancel their pre-order afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone said, like, just go pre-order and cancel I was like, I'm too lazy for that, just give me a code, <laughs> please, but I finally got one to start yeah. playing, so. Yeah, I actually pre-ordered it, I didn't get anything for free. <laughs> I got it for free. <laughs> yeah. I'm still stuck on that intro. That was absolutely ridiculous. It was a good intro, though. Uh-huh. It was good. All it right. captured everything. So, start us off, John. What are your first impressions of the game? Uh, just from playing th- it for, just for basically a day. Basically a day. And only a few hours, huh? We haven't played it too much. But uh, I think the first thing that sticks out to me, it, it, like the overall presentation looks better to me. Um, I think uh, not... I don't want to stick on graphics, but it just... It looks... Uh, What's the word? CRISPR? I don't know if that helps. I like that. CRISPR cleaner. I like that word yeah. in describing graphics. It's, it's yeah. a good word. Even CRISPR. though it doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense. Yeah. Um, it like, like the, I think one thing that sticks out to me, like when you're in the lobby, like you have your different, uh, we'll get to this later, but the specialist, like you, they, the like the whole screen changes when you pick one. Um, I think that's something small that I like. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the whole presentation overall, from I, definitely from Advanced Warfare, is better to me. Um, and sure. the other the other big thing, uh, is uh, the gunplay? I think it's like a gajillion times better oh, yeah. than advanced. And the warfare. guns actually feel like they're metal instead of plastic <laughs> toys. Yeah, <laughs> plastic, plastic toys are us toys. But yeah, I uh, I feel like I'm more in control. Like right off the bat, like I don't have. To, I feel like I don't have to play for like 20 hours to get to know how to play the game. Like I felt like when I grabbed the controller and I had my first gun, like. Like I was already good at. It. I've already been playing it for six months, so I think that's I think that's good. Like anyone can jump in it and um, just enjoy it. Like I still die a lot, and I'm not good at it yet. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I feel like I'm like you're more constru- like when you die, it's not like just everyone's like way better than you. It's just that. Yeah. Exactly. Because everyone's kind like of, you have you, control of when you die more than. Like, yeah. Like you still like you, like you still have people that are good at Call of Duty and they're gonna be better than you. But I feel like I have a chance now, just because the gunplay is tighter and I, I I feel like I'm when I'm moving, it's I have more control over that. Uh, and uh, I feel like it's way better. Yeah, because like in in this one, I'll be like, yeah, I die, but I won't really get as mad because right. like yeah, my aim was terrible, or this dude <laughs> like did a cool wall running move. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And a better position. So uh, moving on, the biggest thing that they added in this uh, Black Ops 3 new edition of Call of Duty uh, is the specialists. So they are basically, uh, you, before you start a round, you pick one every, I don't know, you just pick one at the beginning of a round. And mm-hmm. then uh, there's, I think, eight unlocked. Well, they're not unlocked right from the start, but you can unlock eight during this beta. Um, so they range from, like, oh, I, I guess, John, you can go ahead and start, like, which ones that you've used so far and what you think of them. Uh yeah, so I think there's I think there's four at the beginning of the beta four that you have five, access yeah. to. Four, yeah. Uh, the one I picked was the Tempest, and what he has is an awesome electrifying gun. When you get it, uh, is like it's a one shot kill. I think I think all of them might be, but uh, it's sick because <laughs> it's something small. Like when you get the gun, even right when you equipped it, when it's ready, it like has this cool animation where like. Um, it kind of, the gun kind of clips together, and you see kind of lightning kind of spark out a little bit. I think that's cool. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's the one I've been using, um, mostly because uh, <laughs> I played Evolve, and I used Markov, and he had a lightning gun. So I was like, hey, cool, I know how to use this. <laughs> um, but uh, I like using that one. Um, just be- And, like, when you shoot someone, you just, like, see their body, like, like the like, she's around them, like, shocks them for a few seconds. Yeah, that's so I cool. think that's a yeah, it's cool. And what uh, that one does, it also like chains the other enemies. So if you shoot someone and another person like walks by, they'll get shocked too. 
Oh, okay, cool. Um, I haven't done that yet because I'm not good at it. So I, I have, well, I mean, I have you have killed... to have like a lot of people in one area. So yeah, well, I've killed a few people doing it, and it's my favorite so far. And I and then I used the next one I've used probably the second most has been the is it sparrow with the bow? Yeah, the bow is a sparrow. Yeah, uh, I've got a few few kills with that. I think that's awesome. I, I didn't love the know. <laughs> I didn't know you could like hold it down to shoot it farther. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're I'm, just shooting. It was barely I'm trying going to aim anywhere. it up and like arc it at people. Like I it, hold it, it down like all yeah, the time. I have not done that. I learned that. I like oh you can hold it down and then got shot and died. So I was like <laughs> okay. So I'll learn to use that. But yeah, those two are the one I've used. The Wait, most so, so you were just tapping the trigger? Yes, yeah, so I was tapping it. It would just go like t- ten feet and arc down. I'm like this sucks. This so Minecraft gonna, control is John. Yeah. So I was playing with it. I was kind of behind a building. I was like, all right, there's got to be something I'm missing here. You can't just, no one's good at this like this. So I, like, I held it down, and I'm like, oh, yeah. And then right when I hold it down, I, like, pop my head out, and I got sniped. And I was like, dang it. Yeah. So. But I um, love the Sparrow. I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, so, again, every the specialists are, like, a person that you play as, and each of them you can either pick their, like, special weapon, or I think they have, it's either a weapon or an ability. So, for example, Sparrow, what's... Outrider, I think, is the character's name. The Sparrow is the bow and arrow. And then there's Vision Pulse, which will, like, highlight enemies that are in a, within a certain yeah, yeah, radius yeah. to you. Uh, I use that as well. Outrider's probably my favorite character overall that I've used. Because um, I love the bow. That's probably my favorite uh, out of anything. And then mm-hmm. Vision Pulse is super useful, especially if you're on, like, a smaller map. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I used... Uh... This frustrated me. The uh, the gravity spikes, where you slam into the. I'm ground. not. I'm not the biggest fan of the gravity spikes. I, I'm not either. Um, because mainly because I've been. I started off with the tempest and lightning gun, and you press L1 and R1 to bring it up, and then you can start shooting it. So so you like you press L1 and R1 to equip it, and then you start shooting. So I did that. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll try the gravity spikes. I, I was that. like, all right, L1 R1, and then I wasted it on no one around. I was like, oh shoot, that's like that uses it. That doesn't like equip it. I was like, dang it. Yeah. And then like the next time I did it, I did the same thing. I didn't learn from my mistakes. So um, I like it. It's it's definitely useful if you're playing like um, I would think like dominant. Yeah, if you're playing like a control base mode, it's super good. The only problem that like just in death matches, you have to get super close to them, and then by that yeah. time, they'll probably kill you. Yeah, I would think if there's something like domination or hard point where people are huddled in a spot, right. you could just take them all out. But I haven't really used it a lot just because I fresh out myself using it. But I could see how I could see myself using it eventually. Yeah, um, and then I think we touched on all the ones that I actually I uh this morning I played for a little bit I got I unlocked glitch um it basically so it it'll send you back to some somewhere about three seconds to where you were before uh so Whoa. I think before like everyone got hands on with it it was kind of controversial just because how that would work uh mm-hmm. but I do think that it works really well you can't just like use it as just a cheat I think you have to use it tactically or else you're gonna waste it like if you're just in an open area and then you use it, it's not gonna do anything for you. But so it like sets you back like in time or yeah, something. Yeah, it'll teleport you back to where you were three seconds ago. Oh. So, so can you do it when? Is it like a lifesaver kind of thing that you can use it for? Like if you die, can you use it and then bring yourself? No, back you can't do that. Oh man. But there is one. Uh, after I talk about this, I'll tell you one that's kind of like that, but I don't think it's in yeah. the beta, or at least I haven't unlocked it yet. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Basically, like, if you use it, say you run around a corner and you're starting to get shot, you use that, and then you'll be back behind the wall, and they won't be able to shoot you, and then you can get in position. Uh, so I think that's a really cool move if you use it, like, tactically. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, yeah, I like that a lot. So, like, you can get, like, so, like, you like you can't use it after you're dead. No. Right? Okay. So, like, if you get shot and you're not dead, you can, like, you press it, and you're behind that corner, and now you know who they are, and you're like, and so you can just pop out and shoot them. Right. Is that, kind of, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that sounds... Sounds pretty cool. So yeah, it's basically like if you're if you run around the corner, and notice there are enemies, and you're not in position to shoot them, or they're you're already taking damage. Use that, and it'll send you back, so you can like just get ready for a fight. Right. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh. So yeah, it's really cool. And then there's also one I think I there was one instance where I, I wasn't using it, but a different person was. John, you know like that that little house by the waterfall on that one map. Yes. So he. I knew he was in that in the house. So then right. he, I think he was shooting. So it would, he would show up on the map when he when he was running out. Mm-hmm. So and then I went in to chase after him. He was like he was already running out. And I went to chase him through the door. He used it when I was running out through the door. So then he was back in the house behind me and he shot me in the back. 
Oh, so, I see. That's cool. Yeah, that's a really cool way to use it. Um, but again, awesome. the the other one that I was talking about that you can use after you die. Actually, I don't know if you use it after you die or if you just use it during your round and then. But once you die, you'll like turn into like a pile of green like smoke, and then after a few seconds, you'll what? pop back out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard of that so one. So that's kind of like. But I mean, like it's I feel like that probably won't be the best because if people see the smoke they'll just aim at it when you come out yeah yeah yeah, uh, huh, yeah. that's interesting i, I like I, I like the glitch one that sounds that sounds like it could be really yeah. cool to glitch. use if you know how to use it right it's super good uh i'm not i haven't really used it that much so i haven't had too much success but yeah yeah i, f- I feel like i would have to be on my toes use something like that because you reset and then like if, especially in a, in a tense situation like that where you know like he's coming and you have to you know glitch behind him like i'll have to be like super focused you something like yeah. with the tempest i just run around and shoot stuff like i'm yeah. not trying to think i'm gonna be behind this guy in a second but yeah that sounds that sounds like a cool one to use i like that one yeah and then there's ones that you unlock later like a golden gun type thing from destiny it's just a one-shot kill pistol Whoa. uh so yeah specialists overall i think are a great addition they're not like yes. overpowered it's no. uh like you can get them by not doing anything, like your meter will fill it's, up eventually. But if you right. do th- more things, then it'll fill up quicker. Do more stuff. Kind and kind of like uh, getting your Titan in Titanfall. Um, so yeah. And I've I went up uh, went up against plenty of people that had their uh, Tempest already active, and I killed them. So it's not like it's a yeah. Like, like you, in, you can kill them if they're not yeah, in position it's, already. It's not like they're like gods when they turn that on. It's yeah, just, not like Destiny, have... which I don't like, because like if you <laughs> if you have your power in Destiny, you're gonna kill someone. Yeah, you're gonna kill someone, but uh, yeah, I like it in this. It can like, it'll keep it balanced because yeah. I've killed plenty of people. That's what I was saying. Because you're because in, De- in Destiny, you're guaranteed to kill someone if you have one of those abilities, and then. And here it's not like if you just use it at the wrong time, and then you're pulling mm. out your your weapon that you just summon, and someone walks around a corner and shoots you, and you mm. you lost it's it over. for the like, and right. then it has to charge up again. So yeah, yeah it's not overpowered at all. Yeah, yeah it's, I definitely think it's a great addition. Mm-hmm. And then moving along, the movement has been definitely refined from Advanced Warfare. Um, instead of just having unlimited boost and jump like you did previously, yeah. you have like sort of a meter that you have. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can boost jump, which isn't as like a direct jump. It's more of like a gradual like boost. Yeah, jump it's like a thing. Yeah, like <laughs> it's you kind of hard to just kind of float. Yeah, kind of. it's like a like a float. It's not like vertical. It's more horizontal. Yeah, it's not like the whole boost is powered. It's like it boosts you and float to somewhere. Yeah, um, like it'll think... boost you up initially, and then you'll just like move horizontally more. Right, exactly. And I, I actually use the power slide more because you slide for I think you slide longer. Yeah, and you slide more. really fast. And you can aim while you do it. Yeah, you slide fast. I use that a lot more, mm-hmm. um, like going around corners and stuff because people won't expect it. But yeah, it's just it's much more controlled than Advanced Warfare. Uh, I yes. think it's a lot better because mm-hmm. it's I not agree. just out of control. Everyone's just jumping every two <laughs> seconds. You just see like two people just hopping around each other. It's definitely yeah, like, but, that. Yeah, that didn't sacrifice the pacing anymore, though, because mm-hmm. I think they boosted the run speed, at least from Black Ops 2, they for sure did. Yeah. Uh, I don't really remember from Ghosts. Uh, um, and again, that power slide, you could just zoom zoom with that yeah, for a few seconds. Slide. And that, it, yeah, power slide. It's cool. Uh, but the, yeah, I think the pace is still there, even though the you know the jumping around is gone. So. Right. I think they did a good job balancing all that out this time. Yeah, I think they did a great job with that. Also, they added wall running. So it's it's not, like, yeah. absolutely the most useful. I think when you're wall run, you're super vulnerable to people who, are, who aren't yes. just because it takes a while to adjust your aim. Yeah. Uh, so, But there definitely are parts of the map where you're designed to wall run. Like yeah, our, our sneaky route, John. <laughs> sneaky route, there's, yeah. there's, like, a bridge on one of the maps, and then if you jump on the side while well, people are on the bridge, you can get behind them. Uh, so yeah, there's cool stuff like that. If you use like wall running tactically, you'll have a good time. Yes. Uh, gunplay, much improved. Uh, much improved. Uh, I think it's uh, a thousand times better than Advanced Warfare. Um, I don't know what I can't put my finger on like why. Like it's like Advanced Warfare. Like I figured out that I had to uh, up my sensitivity, like my look sensitivity, so I could look around faster. Um, in this game, I don't really have to. Um, mm-hmm. It's like it's on a normal setting. I don't know if that really matters, but I just feel like <clears throat> I don't. Know, I feel like it's it's on the road to being where Destiny is. Even though Destiny is a controversial game, the gunplay is fantastic. It's almost perfect to me. But I feel like it's it almost feels kind of like that. Like um, I just feel like I'm in control yeah. of what I'm doing with it my is gun. Like I, really good. Uh, yeah. Um, it, and I've <laughs> I've been trying to talk to people about it. And the only thing I mentioned is the gunplay is better. The gunplay is better. And like yes, we know, we know. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
But uh, yeah, I uh, I, lo- I love so uh, that's like the one thing that like I'm gunplay was already sure. great, but it's like extremely good now. Well, yeah, it wasn't that it was terrible. It was just that um, you know I felt like sometimes I would die in advanced warfare because I don't like I would be like I would try to I would try to aim and my contr- my like my little uh, my crosshair would just like fly by the enemy. I'm like oh okay right. uh, what just happened and I would die. But in, in this I feel like I'm when I like I'm when I want to when I want to put my crosshair on like I turn and I do it so. What are we talking about next? Maps. Maps. <laughs> what okay. is like uh there's like three that are on the beta so far. Yes, there's or... three maps. And everyone votes for the same one. We all, all They we all vote play... for hunted. Hunt yeah, we all we always It is the, the best map. one, but still it kind of annoys me that that's the only map that we mostly play on. Yeah, like I wouldn't mind it's definitely the best one, but I I wouldn't mind like just switching it up just for the sake of switching it up. Like I know it's a good map. Yeah, like every man. two rounds or so I do a different one. Yeah, and I'm sure there'll be a deal. I mean, they'll DLC a thousand maps, but you know, I just up like to the players. Like, let's play something else. Like, I don't want to sit here and play Hunted for a, you know ten games. Hunted is a super good map, and one of the it reasons is. it is a super good map is because they have a lot of water in that map. And also, in addition to this <laughs> game, is you can shoot underwater, which makes it game of the year 2015. 2015 Black Ops 3 game of the year. But really, it's actually really cool. You can say you're running across like a bridge area, you jump into water and then someone passes over the bridge and you see them, you jump out of the water, shoot them. Or you can shoot people in the water, like I said. Yeah, I think the underwater shooting, like, the mechanics of that are great. Like, yeah. I, I would think it would be, like, sloppy and they may have, like, overlooked it, just kind of thrown it in there. But, man, it's good. Yeah. It's just as good as, you know, walking around and shooting someone. So, right. um, and I finally killed someone underwater. It was a great moment. It was a great moment. Yeah, man. there was just one match where I had, like, 15 kills. I just camped underwater. <laughs> Came up for breath, That's like, funny. every 10 seconds. Yeah, it's definitely well did. And, uh, yeah, like, I, all, like, in what hunted, I'll be running around and all of a sudden I die. And I'm like, how did you shot me? And then I just, it shows the kill. And people, Someone just pops out of the water, shoots me, and goes back underwater. I'm like, ah, touche, touche. But yeah, so the water is like a super viable, like just a pathway instead of running. And it's, it's like probably even better than just running. Yeah, I mean, uh, this, it'll at take least you how to that map is places. designed. Yeah, or it, it like gives you access to a few places in the map where like you could like kind of go behind someone, or if you know someone's going that way, you can cut them off. Or right, um, definitely uh, changes everything up. So it's not like there's like three lanes and people know where you're coming. Uh-huh. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Like, say you see someone running up towards you, you jump in the water, and then when they pass, you jump up and shoot them. So, right, exactly. Stuff like that is really cool. Yeah, it's and it, it's just it's the water stuff is all the shooting and everything underwater. And you swim fast, too. I, I appreciate you do that. Swim fast. I, 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 I'm glad because I would suck if, like, do you mean you if you're just fast. like moving so slow? Just, yeah, that would be horrible because uh-huh. you didn't have like people just clutter underwater, not going anywhere, uh-huh. trying to shoot each other. <laughs> uh, and then. Sort of the last thing we're going to talk about. It's pretty small, but it's really cool. The paint shop they added, it's basically... Oh, yes. You can create your own camos using... It's kind of like the player card design, but you use it on mm-hmm. a gun. Yeah. Uh, it's super fleshed out. It's super cool. Uh, um, I made some pretty cool ones. I think I'm going to do a video on the paint shop, so yes. stay tuned for that. Um, it, I feel like it's limited right now because you only can do, like, two sides in the top. Um, I wonder if that's all of it. I think that's gonna be all of it um well it's still cool because they have a i mean you could do a bunch of stuff there's so many designs you can do but yeah i think uh, and some guns allow you to paint more like there's more space to put paint yeah like on the side and stuff so i think you know it's it's kind of a give and take with that but i like it Uh, i'm gonna make a bunch of game ball guns (laughs) yeah i was gonna and the video i'm planning on doing i'm gonna make a game ball gun probably just speed it up just like show you how it works and then speed it up so you can just see the finished thing yeah i think it's a cool touch um also i mean go ahead cool I mean, people, uh, I know when I was playing, like, uh, events where all the past Call of Duty's, I would want a cool gun, and, like, oh, this paint job looks cool, and you have to unlock it, and you have to go maybe buy a DLC pack or something for it, but right. now it's, like... You but now can you can make ones that probably look even cooler than... Right. You can just, it's, I think it's a really cool customization tool, so... Yeah. Good job. Good job. The only thing that bothers me about that is you can't see them, like, in-game. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's... Uh, well, I mean, if you're using your gun that has the cam on it, you can see it in-game, but, like, yeah, other I, people I, in that match can't see it unless it's a kill cam. Yeah, I, I can't see your gun, like, when we're running around, but right. I wonder if something that something that they'll fix or they'll patch in or something, but not that it's a big deal, but yeah. it'd be cool to, like, hey, look at my gun. You can see it on the kill cam, but, I mean, that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I... Th- I hope there's something fixed because I mean, what if you like? Cool, I want to do a cool paint job and then show you. I yeah. can't show you until I get the last kill, and that's like not going to happen. Like, so. You have to take a picture and then send it. To me, so. Yeah, that's too much work. Yeah. Um, John, do you have anything else you want to add? 
Uh, I think we covered everything. I think we covered everything so far. There's really oh, not that no, much. No, there's in probably there. some huge thing we did not say. Um, no, uh, there's there's I, not. I think <laughs> yeah. I, um, I've only played. I mean, there's really not that much to it right now. Um, yeah, right now. To, to the multiplayer. Um, I I like all the guns. I like how they named some of the guns. Some of the they're guns much are, easier to remember than. Yes, there's not like a thousand. Yeah, there's like the Man of War and stuff like that. P nine twenty thirty fifty two H C. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's definitely a nice touch. Right. But, I mean, there, we don't have access to like the emblems or anything yet. How, or is that is that cut out from the beta, or do you have to get to a certain level? Because I have. I'm I sure. Do... I'm sure it's just cut out from the beta. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because really it's there, it's just locked. Yeah. I, there's not too much in it, but I mean, well, I like it so far. I think the gunplay and the presentation what what like bought me, you know, grabbed me so far. But yeah. it's. But I. It's it's great. Yeah, I think this could be the best one in a long time, just from playing yes. it for a day. I think the only reason I'm not getting super into it right now is because um, just the map. <laughs> You're on the same the map, map thing. every day. <laughs> but yeah, so. they'll, they'll add new ones. There's also remember that they're going to add another new town, which would be awesome. Oh, that would be great. Uh, so yeah, I think that wraps everything up. Uh, if you have any additional questions, be sure to leave them in the comments of this video. Uh, John, you're on Twitter, at High Five Nerd. I am. I'm on Twitter at GrantRam3, and the Game Bolt is on Twitter at the underscore Game Bolt. Uh, be sure to also check out our Twitch channel because we will be streaming this most of the week. Yep. Was the the beta last like five more days? Or as something? long as the beta is lasting, we will probably yeah be check our channel. We'll be playing it. So yeah, Twitch.tv slash the Game Bolt again, uh, and also for some other streams and stuff. I know we're having like a Nino Cooney series now. Yeah, uh, I think Jason and Cody are kind of tag teaming that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff on Twitch. Uh, cool stuff. Lastly, if you want to see our written impressions of this game and much more, check out thegamebolt.com. www.thegamebolt.com. Ooh. Fast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that about wraps up all our impressions. So we will catch you next time. Later, guys. See you guys.